Living is increased nationally by 20% in the Black Hills is not immune. Good evening. I'm Jack Cottle and I'm Juliana Alford. The cost of living in Rapid City is 1% higher than the state average. That's according to Rent Cafe. Our Adrian Carbajal is in the studio to explain the city fee increases set to start this July. Jack and Juliana, various fees in Rapid City are set to get a bump starting July 1st. For starters, the city solid waste division will add a 3% fee to all credit and debit card transactions. And by the ton, tire disposal will increase from $240 to $260. Airport parking prices are expected to increase as well. Executive Director Patrick Dame says the airport has remained at 75% occupancy for the better part of the year, even during slow seasons. This demand, on top of the growth expected in the coming years, has made the increases necessary necessary for the airport to stay self-sustainable. Parking is our number one revenue source uh, for the airport um, and in an effort to make sure that we're considering to remain as self-sustainable as possible, which is a requirement of the FAA, um, we're having to look at our parking lot rates. Dame said that there will be no more 30 minute free parking and the daily maximum for lot P2 will increase from $14 to $18, while lot P1 will increase from $10 to 12. But he also noted that the airport is finding ways to become more accommodating to customers after these changes. So Adrian, are any of the prices going to stay the same in the coming months? Uh, downtown parking meter fees are not set to increase and will, re and will remain at $1 an hour Monday through Friday and $1 per two hours of parking on Saturday. What else is going to change? For those going to the landfill, disposal rates uh, per carload will remain at $5. However, SUVs will be charged a $15 fee and the pickup load fee will increase from $20 to $25. Also, the disposal fee for each ton of petroleum contaminated soil will increase from $25 to $30. All right, thank you very much, Adrian.